Welcome to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash, and today what we are looking at is the Masakage Kumo Guto 240mm knife. Uh, this line of knives is a coarse steel of VG10 stainless steel. He treats about 61 Rockwell on that coarse steel. And the construction is a um, an etched, uh, layered, stainless, softer stainless cladding on each side of that uh, VG10. Uh, they've etched it heavily to bring out the layers, so you kind of got that gunmetal gray mixed with the uh, metallic nickel look, so it's a real dramatic type finish. I believe it's supposed to be reminiscent of Storm Clouds, which it is. Uh, very, very attractive blade. The uh, weight on the knife is 167 grams, or 5.9 ounces, and these dimensions and weights are going to vary slightly from knife to knife since they are handmade. The edge length is in this one's about 244 millimeters, 9.6 inches, 410 millimeters on the overall length. And the spine thickness, it thins out it, right out of the handle, out of the gate. It's kind of thicker, but it thins right out quick. And it's about 2.8 above the back of the blade at the heel or the chin. And then thins out quite a bit as you go down. Not a ton of distal taper, but it gets really thin towards the tip with the grind. And this blade surprised me on the flex. It's uh, a little bit more flexy than you might expect. It's light and nimble. It's thinner than a lot of the other Masakage styles, um, much less flex or much more flexible than let's say Yuki or definitely a Koishi. Um, but blade height on this is about 51.7, so it's a nice size blade. But again, it's it's really pretty light, 5.9 ounces for the size blade, and it, again, it's due to the thinness. The uh, so if you're looking for a super stiff uh, 240, this might not be your thing. It's not you know whippy or anything, but it does have more flex than you might expect. Uh, if you've handled other Masakage knives. Uh, handle size uh, is about 3 inches in circumference at the ferrule wood junction. Uh, it's a pretty standard size handle. It's a really nice octagonal a rosewood, packa wood, black packa wood ferrule. Let's take a close-up look. I do have a little bit of a bump there, um, the ferrule and wood junction. You could smooth that out if you felt like that or not. Nice handle install, looks pretty well sealed up. Um, you've got Masakage's typical curved choil uh, into the neck or imoto, and then a spine. Fit and finish is really nicely done, very comfortable. Out of the box edge is a good solid, maybe 7 out of 10, 6, 7 out of 10, a very sharp. It's got Masakage's typical stellar out of the box edge. Hand chisel kanji on the left side of the blade, as is their standard. And I think you can see the cladding pretty effectively there. A real nice dramatic look to it. There's the edge, edge, edge in your core steel. Again, it's heavily etched. Give you that look. This will make a dramatic statement in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, performance is good. Um, it's pretty thin at the edge, so I'd say it's, you know, I shouldn't say good, it's, it's very good. And it gets nice and thin at the edge. The um, I think what else to say about it. The balance point is the handle's actually lighter than you might think for the kind of wood, but the balance point is pretty much right on the money for me for my pinch grip. So let's take a look on our cutting board. Here's your edge profile. And pretty much just kind of a gentle, continuous curve. Not a lot of flat spot. A little bit of back belly towards the heel. But no real big, continuous flat spot. Um, I can get pretty high about right there before I start digging the tip in. Actually, way up here. This one, every tip's going to be different. This tip kind of pops up right at the very end, so I can get really high with this particular one. Your knife could be slightly different, but it'll get nice and high. This is a really nice rocker. Not a good, like, straight chopper, but... Um, if you get some motion in your stroke, and you're also if you like rocking, this might be an excellent, excellent choice. The grind is really nice. It's kind of a subtle grind that's kind of an arc or curve, a little bit more like a Shimo um, than like the hard blade road edge of like the Yuki. So you can kind of feel it more of a gentle curve. And as I said, it gets pretty thin at the edge. So uh, really nice knife. If you like this look, it's, uh, you know... Again, a little bit thin, uh, thinner than some of the uh, Masakage Yutos, uh, but you, you gain performance out of that. So a really beautiful, beautiful blade, great handle. 
So there you have the Masakage Kumo uh, Guto 240 millimeter knife.